Hey, what's the deal, man? It's yours truly, Stewie. Jake Nix, the Flies Guy on the radio, man. Look, I got the mayor in the building. As you know, it's been 50 years of hip hop, and Rap City was one, definitely one of the biggest hip hop shows. The biggest. The biggest hip hop show ever. And it was a pleasure for me to be a part of it. I don't think, I think like even now I'm still learning the history of, of what you was going through and right. all the artists you interviewed. Like, what was, what was your I iconic moment as far as Rap City that you remember? Uh, the iconic moment was when I think we first traveled and went to Seattle, Washington. Mm. And that was when Sir Mix a lot. And that's when Rap City finally went on the road. Mm. And I was tired of sitting in the studio. I mean, I wanted to show another side of the artists. I wanted to show that they do laugh. Mm. Everything is not about serious and... Being a gangster. Right. Yeah. You know, so I wanted to show another side of the artists and show them in their own uh, homes or in their own cities. And that was really one of the most iconic moments for me. Do, are, do you think that it's like kind of crazy as how the world is now that pretty much that's what everybody's doing? That's the best thing to do right now is interview artists in their own familiar Domain, area. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's at their mama house, whether it's right. at their uncle house, wherever they come to at their studio. Right. So from you having that idea back then and loving to travel then to do that, it's like coming full circle. It's, full, it's coming full well, that's circle. That's almost like the only way to do it. Exactly. Hands on. Well, some of those guys, they're artists, but on stage, other than being on stage, when they're sitting like here with you talking, Jay, mm -hmm. they're not opening it up. Right. So I got an opportunity, because Big Daddy Kane was one of my hardest interviews, because mm. he didn't like talking. Wow. So I had to uh, come up with a scheme to get him to talk. Mm. So I had one of those portable phones. Mm -hmm. I took it on the set and had somebody call it. Mm. And I answered it, and I said, Big Daddy, it's for you. Mm. <laughs> and he was like, how do they get my number? How do they know the call? And when they got on the phone, nobody was there. So right. he was just, then he opened up, he started laughing and to get him to laugh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's tight. So as far as like iconic, like like this show, what do you think made Rap City like that show that you had to go to? Well, they only give you two years right. to see what the ratings are gonna be like. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, there are other shows that got canceled. Right. Some shows I think that would have been good, uh, Teen Summit. Right. Um, um, Screen scenes, right. uh, a BT news, right. but I think that the most important. Uh, excuse me, man. I lost my thought. Can you do that thing again? No, I was actually asking like, what well, made yeah. you think that that rap city lasted? Why? Why did it last so long? Considering that oh, so many other shows that got canceled. Because everybody that was on the show came with their own twist. Mm. No one tried to be a comedian. Only person who was a comedian was. Joe Claire, mm. you were a DJ, right. Right. so you right. threw your right. flair in it. Right. You, you mix. You done been in the studio with many of the hip hop artists. Right. Prince Day Jewel, he was from Teen Summit, so he was part of the BET family. Prime, he knew everything. He was like a walking encyclopedia. Mm. Um, uh, Mad Lynx, Q, right. same scenario. Uh, Big Les, she was the first lady of Rap City. Come on, so. We gave our own piece of us. See, this is not the show that Chris Thomas started. Mm. It's the show that we branded. Right. That's why we're all together. That's why we one big family. Right. I don't take the credit. I take that I'm glad that I was the first to start it out right. because I was able to add comedy in it. Right. You never knew because it was just a video show right. and an interview show. Most of those guys was on Video Soul and any other show that would allow them to be on it. Right. But we opened doors for a lot of people. Think about my era. Will Smith became an Academy Award winner. Queen Latifah. Ice Cube. That was a, yeah, that you know what I'm saying? Look at, all, look at all those people back then that got started from Rap City. Now, was it part of their success? I would say it was. Right. You know. Right. And everyone that was on your show. Right. Because it, it was definitely just a, a platform right. for you to be able to be seen because you still to this day, and I feel like the problem is with the game now is that right. they don't even know what some of these artists look like. Exactly. They can have the biggest song in the country and don't know no, what they, they look they like. They be sitting right next to them like singing their song. Right. That's my song. But they know Ice Cube. Right. Will Smith. By face. They know all that. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. So uh, as a comedian, I was touring with all the rappers first. Mm. So I knew them personally, uh, except for the new artists. Right. 
Uh, so it gave me an opportunity to really showcase what I did. So I never got my 15 minutes of fame on Def Jam. Right. I was already in the loop. Right, with everybody. But overall, it showed that what I did on the road with these guys at the Superdome and all these other places, um, the Market Square Arena, the form of 30,000 of people, that it worked out. Come on now. Do you think that there could ever, ever be a show like Rap City ever again? Honest. If they turn off the uh, social media and YouTube. <laughs> right. But right now, everything is at your, it's it's on, your on your hip. Right. You know, so I don't know. Unless someone stays mysterious like Michael Jackson did in Prince for a while. Right. It would have to be special interviews that... Beyonce, you don't see her on a lot of interviews. Right, you don't see her on social media. You but everybody her. else, you do. Right. You know, so, uh, if they bring it back, good luck. I think there will be some, uh, so a lot of viewers, just to see what happens. Uh, how it is it like the old rap city? Right. You can never, pre you can never, come back and do what was already done. Facts. That's why we're getting all the credit. Uh, I wish the Hip Hop Awards would have showed us on stage. I, I wish that too. I mean, sitting in a chair, you could have, they could have had five minutes for us. Right. But I'll take it. Right. I take what they give, and uh, I got the wave. My mom get to see one second. <laughs> <laughs> you have, man. Hey, as you have it, man. Rap City, um, Dr. Mooney is out now, or it's gonna be out. Just go, go stream it. Go check it out. Um, and mine up first. Stream? Yep, you are first. So I'm kind of like the one that's going to make a determine if you're going to watch the second episode or the third I episode. got an opportunity to see all of them, so I definitely think you did an amazing was, job. Thank you. Thank okay. you so much. I definitely appreciate yes, you, sir. man, and just being a part. Just so being in your space, man, because you're yeah. OG. So you, we got to make sure we could, we always give you flowers and give our OGs flowers and respect. Right. I don't plan on dying tomorrow, though. Come on, <laughs> Come on that, man. Chris Thomas, the man, man. <laughs> Rap City, man. You know what's going on, man. Peace to the 1079. Yes, sir.